Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Height Math. In today's third grade lesson, we will be discussing comparing whole numbers. Let's get started. Miss Martin wanted her students to practice comparing numbers so they would be prepared for their math test on Friday. She asked Jonathan to draw four numbers out of a paper bag. Each student was asked to create the least possible number using each number only one time. Using the same numbers shown below, which is the correct answer? The four numbers are 4, 8, 5, and 6. Answer choice A is 8,654. Answer choice B is 6,548. Answer choice C is 4,658. Answer choice D is 4,568. So our first question is, what are you looking for? We are looking for the least possible number using each number only one time. Our steps to solve the problem are, number one, cross out all numbers that do not start with the smallest number. A key tip whenever you are taking a test or you are doing work is to eliminate as many wrong answer choices as you can so that you can increase your number, increase your chances of getting the right answer. So again, whenever you are taking a test or you are doing work and there are multiple choice answers, always try to find out as early as possible which are the wrong answer choices so that you can cross them out and you will increase your chances of getting the right answer. Okay, so our number one, again, we're going to we are going to cross out all answers that do not start with the smallest number. And two, we are, going, we are going to compare the digits of the answers left to find the smallest number. Looking at our answer choices, we can immediately see that we can cross out A, 8,654 because that's not the smallest. 8 is not the smallest number. And also we can cross out B, 6,548 because C is not the smallest number. The answer choices that we have left are C, 4,658 and D, 4,568. Let's see what the correct answer is. If you said D, you are correct because C is, starts off with 4,658. And if we look at the hundreds place, we have a 6 and we have a 5. We know that 6 is greater than 5 so answer C can be crossed out as well and our answer choice will be D 4568 is the least possible number using the ans the numbers pulled out of the paper bag using them only one time let's look at another problem that is similar A company tracked their quarterly sales. The company sold 7,348 units in March, 8,382 units in June, 6,943 units in September, and 9,348 units in December. During which month did the company sell the least? And again, least means smallest. Our answer choice is March. A is March. B is September. 
C is June, and D is December. What are you looking for? You are looking for the month that the company sold the least, again, which means smallest amount of units. The steps we will use to solve the problem will be number one, cross out all the months that have the largest numbers in the thousands place, and C, circle the right answer. So looking at our answer choices, what we did was we went ahead and looked in the paragraph to see how many units were sold for each month and put it with our answer choices so we wouldn't be confused and we can see both the month and also the amount of units that were sold together. Looking at our answer choices, we can see that we can cross out March, which is 7,000, 348. We can cross out C, June. The number of units sold was 8,382. And we can also cross out D, December, 9,348. The reason that we can cross out these three answer choices is because they are not the least or the lowest number in the thousands place. The only answer choice that we have left is B, September. The number of units sold in September, 6,943. This has been Shay Jackson with Hype Math, and today we learned how to compare whole numbers. Talk to you soon.